been a long time since we've been here. That's this one, this one's called Let's Start a War. <laughs>
Bobby on the door trap it. Yes, why Bobby on the door trap it. Yes, why Bobby on the door trap it. Yes, why Bobby on the door trap
Just like to say my personal congratulations to Wattie against all odds keeping this fucking great band together. Right, let's do it for Wattie! Sober enough to play. Scarlet is a white coat. Scarlet is a white coat. Come on, Scarlet, you don't play now. That's the right. That, that'll do. Give, give, give this bloke a hand. That's it. And you can give him the clap. He so richly deserves a clap. So <laughs> right, Scarlett just wants to know what key it's in.
again and have to know it's all we got to get ready. Ready is there, mommy, in the beckoning on. Get ready.
Can you tell us what uh, you think uh, you're, you're like these days? I mean, you've been around, how long have you been around now? Five years. Five years. Five years. Five years. And um, how, do you think your music's changed since you started out? Yeah, it's, it's got better. It's got, the music's it's better production. Yeah. Like when we first done like Punks Not Dead, like the produ production's really crap. Yeah. But uh, you know, like we learnt, we made a lot of mistakes, like in like in the business, they like, getting like ripped off. But, uh, record wise, the records are getting better and better. Yeah. The new album is really good. Yeah. So go and buy it. What else? What else? So keep your head on. Well, does the material change? I mean, have you changed your your lyrical? The, you know, the sort of lyrics you write, have they changed at all? Uh, uh, some of the songs are, yeah. but, but we're, like, we're, not, we're, not, we're not a political band. Like, we're not into politics. Yeah. I mean, like, a lot of bands are into like, preaching politics. That's why you're shouting for you, don't you? I just write songs of everyday life, what's, and what, what affects us. Yeah. Just through experiences. Well, what do you think um, about the punks that first started out, you know, like the Clash and the Sex Pistols? I mean, really... We're short the money. You're short the money? No. <laughs> That's the thing, isn't it, you see? When, when punk first started out, it was, um, you know, it was going to be for the kids, you know, and it was all going to be the kids. And then, then, you know, you got the Clash playing these big stadiums in America and earning 250 grand for doing it. You know, I mean, what, what do you think about uh, sort of how punk's going now? Kind of so it's not. Well, kind of nickel in difference to the new bands. Those. Sorry. It's sort of different to the new bands. They yeah. were the they were the bands who started. So, so I mean, they can. So they've progressed musically. They've gone on to do their own thing. Because yeah. like there was no punk before they started. It was just sort of. But what stones and. All the punks is really boring. Like, it's just total noise. Yeah. A lot of white bands are shit. So what the shape bands going to go? I don't know what's that conflict. I mean, <laughs> 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 oh, fucking. Would, <laughs> would you like to be as big as the Clash and play those sort of venues? Or oh, yeah. You would? I'd like to play the venues, but fucking, the money's about five dollars. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. So what do you think of their thing that apparently they were on in New York and they, um, they said, you know, we're playing for the people and we're going to give all this money away and they were, they were po pocketing 250 grand and they weren't giving any of it away. It was just a, a put on. Yeah, you got a lot of bands, a lot of bands. You ask, like, anybody that starts a band wants to, like, they're in a band the first couple of years, it's for fun, have a good time and that. But if you want to have a band full time, you must, you must make money to survive. Yeah. Because, like, any band, you need money to progress. You're, like, you've not got money for, to progress, you're fucked. Yeah. Well, what do you think about um, the image that punk has now? I mean, like, you're a skinhead, you know, and that has quite a... Uh, yes, that's you, I'm afraid to say so. Um, you know, I mean, that, they have, Skinners have, have a sort of fairly violent image. I mean, do you see yourselves as being fairly violent as a band or not? <laughs> That's what you mean by fairly violent. <laughs> oh, you know, I mean, it's fairly violent. What do you mean? What do you mean? Well, um... It really well, yeah, you know, um... Well, yeah, you know, like, for instance, the thing that developed in Southall as a result of that Four Skins gig. Uh, I do agree with that. I like the blacks, but I like to do that. Yeah. I mean, like, a lot, a lot of people, like, Skinner, Skinner could, could stand in the corner picking his nose and he got arrested for assault. <laughs> I mean, it's like, it's like, it's like papers, it's like papers like, like the Sun, they go about saying, uh, like, they put wee bits in the paper with skinheads and that, so people read it and believe it. It's, a lot of skinheads are okay. Yeah. Like, well, do you see yourselves as being sort of promoting sort of peace or, or what? I mean, do you see... Yeah, you'll, you'll have your chance in a minute, because we're, we're, we'll, come, we'll come to you guys. Yeah, it's fair enough. What we really want, what we'd like to know is what do you think punk's about then, if it's not punk's just... Yeah. You get the other punks, you know, you're not punk because you're in the crass and you're not punk because you're in the exploit, and I mean, like, punk hasn't got any fucking, like, set, set in rules or anything, it's just doing what you want, I mean, like, you fucking... It's not matter what the fuck you wear either. Do you think it's, do you think it's, sorry? I mean, you get too many punks who think like fucking, oh, you're not a punk because you do such and such a thing, or you're not a punk because you listen to fucking disco records in your house and that. But you're not a punk because you're either. Do you think it's necessary to dress up? You know, sort of put on the the uh, kind of heavy gear. Attitude. Doesn't matter how you dress up, but like, like people like us, like we believe, well, I believe in it as an alternative, like to go to discos and fucking. Yeah. Uh, what about you? Like Yuki Subs. Like <laughs> 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 
I, I, I take it. I take it that means this is the UK subs, is it? Out there. What about the new guys? Do you think you're fit? Yeah, man. Sorry, Alan. It's a, it's a hangover from the early 70s. Um, do you think you're sort of fitting in well with you with the uh, exploited? Can I say something? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> mummy, mummy, I'm on TV. <laughs> <laughs> do you think, how do you think you're fitting in with the Exploited, who are supposed to be one of the premier punk bands around? Oh, sorry, the premier <laughs> punk band. <laughs> how, how do you think you're going to fit in in, in this, this, this high, high sort of star environment you're in now? Not a clue. <laughs> no, I'm fitting in our age. Don't ask them difficult questions. His <laughs> name is Carl. Was he? I'll leave it like that. I'll leave it like that. How did you get into the band? Where's he gone? How, how, did, you get, how did you get into the band? Uh, through an ad in Sounds. An ad in Sounds. So I just phoned him up. I just went down, just phoned him up and went up for an audition, should be. And like he was the best, I best, I guitar, I was the best guitarist at Com. Like he wasn't the best looking guitarist, but he was the best playing guitarist. <laughs> what about you two? How did you two get into it? I was rooting for them. That's like, what uh, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I was rooting for them and like, uh, they were doing, where was they doing a gig about? I think it was in Rally or something. And like, Danny, the old drummer, was supposed to come. And like, he never showed up, and so we got this guy doing for, uh, like... Riley. Fucking... Okay. Riley, don't know. We got this guy doing for, uh, <laughs> Dr. Dr. Feelgood. Oh. And like, uh, he started doing all these fucking dab drum riffs and all that, do all the songs and that, so they just shut me on for them. Just done the rest of the tour and just kept me on. Captain Scarlet, and he's with the UK Subs, who are a, a sort of contemporary punk band, I suppose, with the uh, Exploited. Um, how, how do you, what do you think of the UK, of the Exploited? The Exploited, I think they're... Well, the, the, the best thing about the Exploited, they... They like they go on the original idea of punk, and they uh, like loads of people slag them off. Like they've all got Mohicans, and they play as fast as they can. But they give you a five. No, the, 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 the original idea of punk. They're the only punk band that's stuck true to the original idea of punk. And they play as fast as they can, and they're like there's loads of bands right that think they can only play three chords right. Yeah. And they, they play as fast as they can right. But the Exploited, they're like one of the fastest bands, and they're like one of the better ones. But what about yourselves? I mean, do you think you're uh, still true to punk? Or the, the subs, right? We used to play like about 1979. We used to be like like the exploited, really fast punk. But like once you've like you play punk really fast for about a few years, right? And then like you like you progress a little bit, and like the music slows down, and like you get a bit better at playing, and um, you get more ideas and everything. The thing with the exploited, like there's so many like there's so many bands just like for five years like take discharge, right? They play the same thing like as fast as they can for like five years, but with the exploited, like they've got ideas as well as like as well as the speed of the music, and that's why they, that's why they're still as good as they are. Lots of speed. Where do you think yeah. punk's going to go from here? Well, I mean, where do you think it can go now? I don't know. Well, like, at the moment, like punk, the last from like twelve months ago, it's split into two. Right, you've got you've got real hardcore punk. You've got like bands like the exploited and discharge going in one direction as fast as it can. And you've got like other bands. You've got like positive punk like the back cave punk like bands like alien sex being going the other way and, like it's, sp it's splitting in two directions and like the subs are like trying to go like in between it because like the the slow sort has got its good ideas and the fast sort has got its good ideas as well so like we're trying to get the the best we can from both sides what about touring um, how do you get on with the venues i mean do you get good deals from the venues we must be one of the the worst bands for getting gigs because like there's hardly anywhere we can play now because lo like the last time we played in Scotland was two years ago, because like, nobody will touch us. And we have, and Why is that? As, uh, all, all our fans have got the fox. Because the fox shark fucking Captain Scarlet's bird. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we exploited.